Ai. 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 Stop this madness. What do you want from me? Ah, what do you want? Please! Stop this madness. What do you want from me? Ah, what do you want? Um, that was last week. Let's move on. Chapter two. Can we please do that? Excuse me, can you record me real quick? Mm -hmm. Can you record me real quick? Mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. Escape, escape, we cannot come out. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> To see my husband, I'm happy, I'm happy to see my husband. Apple don't fall too far from the tree, do it. <laughs> okay, do you want to introduce yourself? Okay, so my name's Alexandra, but please call me Alex, okay? It's just, it's more or less girly for me. What do you like doing? <laughs> um bruh i like i play video games i eat a bunch of pizza i drink a shit ton of beer i'm like a stray dog just like begging for food do you wanna do you wanna watch the game with us later what game football or basketball duh uh no i don't like it <laughs> oh yeah of course you're not you're just a you're just a girl why do you only hang out with guys you know less drama Less trouble, less attitude, less makeup. Like some girls were dropped on the head when they were little, but some girls were tossed in the air, hit by a ceiling fan, and tossed out the window. You know, sometimes it's just best to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <sighs> These are things guys say when they like you. And if you need more videos like these, then I suggest you click follow. Okay, let's get into it. Number one, guys are very visual, like it or not. If a guy says to you, you look so good without makeup, most guys are clueless and have no idea that they're insulting you. And in other words, are trying to say that they think you are naturally very pretty. It's also a very good indicator if a guy compliments your style. If you don't like somebody, you are not paying attention to what they're wearing. Number two, again, very visual. If a guy tells you you have such nice eyes or anything along the lines of that he definitely likes you and it's not just a passing compliment because why is he staring into them so much riddle me that and number three if he asks you anything to do with your talents or hobbies homeboy has learned a thing or two and he's trying to get to know you and talk to you on a deeper level specifically about the things that interest you because who doesn't want to talk about themselves just a little bit so if there's a guy you know who does all these things Mm hmm he likes you. Have you heard about ovulation? Ovulation is the other big event of your menstrual cycle, other than your period. Ovulation is when your ovary releases an egg. This actually starts at puberty. In fact, you will ovulate for the first time before you get your first period. Your ovaries are the size and shape of almonds. The egg they release is the biggest human cell in the body. When you ovulate, your body makes hormones that boost your mood and make you strong. You might feel your most confident and sociable when you're close to ovulation. You might also get ovulation cramps in your side. And you may see egg white-like cervical fluid. Approximately two weeks after you ovulate, you'll get your period, and you can use Tina to know if and when you ovulate and track your period accurately. These are three signs of an unhealthy period and what it means and what you can do to help. My name is Dr. Stephanie Nichols. I'm a licensed naturopathic doctor. Number one is very heavy flow. So if you're bleeding for you know five to seven days or more and you feel like you're changing your pad or tampon every 45 minutes or an hour, this is a sign that your period is too heavy. This can mean a few things. One of the common reasons I see is having estrogen dominance or where your estrogen levels are higher than optimal. So my favorite supplement here is using something like DIM or Indole 3 Carbonyl with 100 or 200 milligrams per day. 
The second thing I like to include here is a combination of magnesium and B6. Both of these things help you to process estrogens properly. So for, for magnesium, I like to see around 300 milligrams of magnesium bisglycinate and about 25 to 50 milligrams of B6. Next are extremely painful cycles. So if you are calling out of work, you have a heating pad on your abdomen, and you would rate your pain levels higher than like a three or four out of 10, then that means we have too much pain at the cycles. So what I like to include here is, again, magnesium. Magnesium is very relaxing to the mind, the body, and the uterus. So up to 500 milligrams, I think is primo here. I like the bisglycinate form. I also like magnesium malate here. Next is cramp bark. Cramp bark is an amazing herb to help to relax the uterus and treat those really heavy, really painful periods. Now this is better than ibuprofen in many cases because it doesn't have the same negative impact on our stomach lining and our kidneys but very painful periods are a sign of something deeper so oftentimes it can be estrogen dominance again like we just talked about the second thing can be high levels of inflammation and that's because it's prostaglandins that cause the cramping of our uterus and the pain that's associated with them so if you're eating a high inflammatory diet typically gluten and dairy are the two worst here um, or you're exposed to a lot of chemicals like the dioxin that is in chlorinated pads and tampons this can be a root cause as well. So switching up your diet to include a lot of omega-3 fatty acids. Fish oils here are amazing, two grams per day, or including a lot of wild-caught fatty fish like wild-caught salmon and sardines is a nice addition, as well as switching to all the clean products. So maybe using a menstrual cup or switching to the non-chlorinated period pads. Last is a lot of mood changes around your cycle, like PMDD, so getting really anxious, irritable or even depressed. So this is a sign that hormones are out of balance or adrenals are out of balance, which include cortisol. When we're on our period, it's the time when all of our hormones drop. So if you can't buffer those changes, then you're gonna be more susceptible to things like mood changes. One of my favorite herbs here is Vitex or Chase Tree Berry. This one's been studied quite a bit and works well. Okay, has everyone managed to do their homework that was in for today? No. No? No. No! Why? I just couldn't do it. You need to be more specific! I'm still waiting for a reason. My dad died and we had a funeral. Okay, that's great. That's great. Ask me if I give a shit. What the f Why couldn't you have just done it before? I didn't know. What do you mean you don't know? Miss, I just didn't know. Oh my god. God, this is not live, laugh, love. Just like how your dad isn't. Girlie thinks your mom should have taught you crush edition. So my first crush was actually in elementary school and he didn't like me back. Even though we were very good friends, he ended up asking a blonde girl named Olivia out instead. So basically, I would like people that never liked me back. And then when I did like people that I didn't even know, I'd make up stuff in my head about like how they were like and how sweet they are and how cool they are and how like they probably smell so good and all this stuff. But then in reality, they just stank and they had no sense of humor and they were just lame. But anyways, the point of this is do not waste your time liking somebody who doesn't like you back or put energy into someone who isn't putting energy into you. So if you're confused if they like you or not, they probably don't like you. If they never text you, then... They're probably never thinking of you. A lot of the times, my friends would gas me up and they would be like, he's so into you. He's just like, you know, wanting you to make the first move and all this stuff. So at one point, I told this boy that I liked, I hadn't talked to him since Valentine's Day. And then it was Mole Day. And I said, happy Mole Day. That was me shooting my shot. I wish I never, ever messaged him. If he really liked me, he would have messaged me by then. Then, once I had a boyfriend, he was in my DMs trying to hang out and invite me over his house. He just wanted to play games. He didn't actually like me. Up next, do not tell everyone who you have a crush on. For one, you don't know who is actually on your side. Like some friends, when they hear that you like somebody, they're going to start liking them too. Or they're going to try and mess with them just to see if they could have them. Because they're like jealous or competitive of you. Also, limit the time that you kind of like romanticize that person. And have genuine interactions with them instead of just like making them up in your head. These are things girls do but will never admit to. Before we get into this, I apologise sincerely. 
One, for exposing the girls, and two, because guys, you'll probably never be able to look at a female the same again. Number one, the real reason girls take so long in the shower. Maintenance is no joke. It's not just the pubic region, armpits and legs. It's also toes, upper lip, sideburns, stomach and nipples. Yeah, nipples. They're like grey hairs, they creep up on you out of nowhere. And they're so long, for no reason. It's either that or she's discovered the high pressure setting on the shower head, if you know what I mean. Number two, big spoon anxiety. Women have adapted and evolved to be able to not fart around the guy that they like. Well, throughout the day. The second it gets to night time, her guard's down, she's relaxed. She's little spoon, you're big spoon. Anxiety, through the roof. I don't think you understand this skill required to be able to fart unnoticed when you are skin on skin with another human being. You might think she's comfortable and ready to fall asleep, but little did you know she's probably actually calculating the success rate of the manoeuvre she's about to pull. And even with the odds not in her favour, instead of just turning over, she'll probably do it anyway. And number three, Oliver Twist. I hope you're hungry for more because this one's a fucking treat. Every single girl at some point in their life has waited way too long to whip out the hedge cutters and chop down that bush. And has then subconsciously found themselves twisting their pubes like little dreadlocks. And on that note, Happy New Year. It's not too late to get her a razor. I'm actually very fun, relaxed, and easy. <laughs> I was acting. Or was I? Everybody so create.